Welcome to Body Hacking. Today I want to share with you my friends some supplements list that can help to boost immune support, along with how and why they work. All science-based proofed. Vitamin D3 regulates innate and adaptive immunity, enhances pathogen-fighting T-cells and macrophage activity. Deficiency is linked to higher infection rates, especially respiratory infections. Vitamin D supplementation reduced risk of acute respiratory infections, especially in those who were deficient. 1,000, 2,000 IU daily should be just enough for most people, but it makes sense to do some blood work before to adjust to your blood level. Best working with fat-containing meals. Vitamin C. It is powerful antioxidant, protects immune cells from oxidative damage, enhances function of phagocytes, natural killer cells, and lymphocytes, supports epithelial barriers against pathogens. Taking vitamin C may reduce duration and severity of colds. It is well known that higher needs during infection, stress, or heavy exercise. Optimal dosage is 500-1000 mg a day, but tolerable upper limit is 2000 mg a day. Zinc. It is essential for immune cell signaling helps with white blood cell production and viral defense. Deficiency impairs both innate and adaptive immunity. It is science-based insight that zinc lozenges reduce duration of colds, supports faster immune recovery from viral infections. Stick to 15-30 mg a day dosage, but please try to avoid long-term high doses without copper. Beta-glucans. It stimulates macrophages, natural killer cells, and dendritic cells, enhances innate immune response, and may help train the immune system. Clinical studies show immune priming effects, particularly from reishi, shiitake, and maitake mushrooms. 250-500 mg a day of purified beta-glucan extract should be effective dosage. Probiotics. Stick to lactobacillus and bifidobacterium strains. Gut microbiota plays a key role in immune regulation. It is not a secret anymore, but it also supports healthy mucosal immunity and reduces inflammation. Clinical trials show reduced risk and severity of respiratory tract infections in people taking probiotics. Look for multi-strain formulas with 5 to 20 billion CFU a day. Omega-3 fatty acids. It also may boost your immune system by regulating an inflammation via resolvins and protectins. It helps modulate immune function and reduce chronic low-grade inflammation. Accordingly to some science research, it has been shown to improve immune balance and may reduce respiratory infection complications over time. 1,000-2,000 mg combined EPA and DHA per day has shown to be effective. Here is some bonus, my friend. Lifestyle factors that may help to support your immune system. Sleep at least seven to nine hours. It increases T cell activity and cytokine balance. Exercise, yes indeed, it boosts immune surveillance. Stress reduction. You may probably have heard that chronic stress suppresses immune function. So that is true. What else I personally do to boost my immune system? Here are my top three biohack secrets. Sauna with 15 to 30 minute session, one, two times a week. Cold shower every day with 60-90 second session. Wim Hof Method. Check another videos on my channel to learn more. Subscribe to stay updated. See you next time.